Okay, YouTube. Okay, YouTube. Got another skill to show. Got another skill to show. Wait, is is there an echo in here? Why, yes. Yes, there is an echo in here. An Amazon echo, to be exact. Now that we're through with the pleasantries. Um, this is another follow-up video where I wanted to show you guys uh, some another custom skill I, have, I just finished writing for uh, echo integration um, with my Nest. So the little previous examples, I showed some uh, Hue Automation Bridge and a custom skill for DirecTV. This is a custom skill I wrote to interface with my Nest. I've had a lot of the uh, logic in place, actually from the original Nest API, um, even before they released it um, to the public, um, the one that was kind of reverse engineered, and I'm still actually using that in a lot of instances. This video may be chopped up because um, it is very easy to get rate limited um, with the Nest API. And so if that happens, I'll, I'll have to wait for my uh, rate limit to uh, release and then try some additional commands. So if you see some choppiness um, and cutting away, that's what's going on there. So I just wanted to guys, show you guys uh, my uh, uh, Nest functionality. I'm just going to go ahead and turn this volume up pretty darn high and go straight over to the Nest. And uh, I got some cheat sheet here of notes of what I want to... Uh, uh, commands I want to send. I just finished coding this one up, and so um, it uh, it might be a little. Uh, I don't know them offhand actually that well yet. First thing we want to do though is, uh, is we're not up at the nest itself. Um, we can ask it what's the temperature. Alexa, ask Nest for the temperature. House temperature is seventy two. Thermostat is set to 72 degrees. Okay, so it tells us both what the thermostat is set to and what and the house temperature is set, at, set to. Both of mine happen to currently be at 72 rather than two different values. Um, but that'll let you know where you're currently at. Now let's say we want to reduce that down. Alexa, tell Nest to set the temperature to 69 degrees. Okay, Master Sortino. Nest set to 69 degrees. Okay, so that's a direct temperature. I know I can go up or down and go any value I want. Alexa, tell Nest to set the temperature to 71 degrees. Okay, Master Sortino. Nest set to 71 degrees. Okay, now we just want to adjust up or down uh, by uh, degree value. So we can say in increments, go up three degrees, go down three degrees, things like that. Let's go ahead and go down. Alexa. Tell Nest to decrease the temperature three degrees. There was a problem with the requested skills response. Okay, so we actually got it to go ahead, but we probably got ourselves rate limited there. So uh, we can see we dropped to three and then probably hit our rate limit. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, wait a few minutes, come back and continue on with the video uh, with some additional functionality. Okay, we're back and through the magic of editing, a few minutes have passed and we're gonna continue on with adjusting our temperature by incremental values. We previously just decreased it uh, by three degrees. Let's go ahead and go back up by four. Alexa, tell Nest to increase the temperature three degrees. Target temperature increased from 68 to 71 degrees. Yeah, I know I said four, but I did. I said I was gonna do four and I did three anyway, so oh well. We're at 71. So now we can see we're set to 71, the house is at 72. Let's go ahead and query the, the nest again. Alexa, yeah. ask nest for the temperature. House temperature is 72. Thermostat is set to 71 degrees. Cool. All right. So now we can just do some things like, you know, we don't necessarily know what the temperature is. We don't want to necessarily ask her what the temperature is. We just want to tell her it needs to be warmer here because we're cold. So let's do something like this. Alexa, tell Nest that it's cold in here. Okay, putting another log on the fire. Target temperature increased to 73 degrees. Okay, so if we tell her it's cold in here, um, we're gonna adjust up in two degree increments. And we can keep saying that until we get it to where we want. You can say she says something funny, puts another log on the fire, and uh, we increase our temperature, that turn the heat on. Let's go ahead and tell her it's hot in here so we go back down. Alexa, tell Nest that it's hot in here. Okay, taking a log off the fire. Target temperature decreased to 71 degrees. So we, so we took a log off the fire that time, decreased under to 71, shut the heat off. Now we can figure out what mode we're currently in. Alexa, ask Nest what's the current mode. Nest and currently in home mode. 
And this is currently in hold mode. Now we want to leave, so we're done. We're finished with all our stuff. We're heading out for the day. Alexa, mm -hmm. tell Nest that I'm leaving now. Okay, Nest set to away mode. Goodbye. Okay, we set her to away mode. We left. Now we come back home for the day, and we want the Nest to kick back in. Alexa, mm -hmm. tell Nest that I'm back. Welcome back. Nest set to home mode. There we go. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for my next series where I'm going to show a lot of custom, uh, unique home automation skills that I've built into the Echo um, for controlling miscellaneous things that I've already have controlled through my home automation system that I've built. A lot of that's through some Arduino functionality that I have. That's a controller. Um, this predates Raspberry Pi and things like that. Um, sending remote commands for opening garages, opening gates, and things like that that I think you guys will think is pretty cool. That's coming up in the next video, so stay tuned. Thanks, guys.